everybody welcome back it's your boy Zobad Blood Collectibles and today on the channel we are going to be reviewing Xanatos from NECA Gargoyles Armor Suit this thing is freaking awesome freaking dope and we're going to break it down for you and let you know what this figure is all about to see if this is a figure for you also we do have the stealth clan as well we do have two of them that we're going to be going over as well with Xanatos. And there he is right there. Just looking really awesome. Really neat. Uh, love the colors on both of these figures right here. I do have another Stealth Clan. We have two Stealth Clans. Uh, armor suits. And then we also have Xanatos to go over. So let's go ahead and dive into these figures. Let's see what they all about. And let's see if both of these figures are all three of them are better than the Gargoyles themselves. Hello everybody, welcome back. It's your boy Zobad Black Collectibles and today you guys, we do have Gargoyles, Armor, Xanatos, the ultimate action figure and we also have two Steel Clan Robot ultimate action figures as well. Now these things are freaking awesome. We got Xanatos right here from Gargoyles back in the day in the 90s, which was a very awesome show. And I love when they brought out the machines and I love when Xanatos was actually a Gargoyle as well. I think that was dope as well. But these are some uh, freaking awesome figures. And seeing this thing for the first time uh, when they were at Comic-Con or San Diego uh, Comic-Con, wherever it was, uh man i was like i gotta get those and i gotta get at least two of the silver ones or the steel clan and then i gotta get xanatos so going into target saw it saw like all three of them there in a row and just grabbed all three of them i didn't even get a chance to look at the price i just grabbed them and i was kind of upset about the price but it is what it is at the end of the day but these are some awesome looking figures right here. We got Xanatos right there as well. And then we got all three of them right here lined up. We got two of them right there, which you can army build. So that's pretty dope. So right now we do have Goliath. We have Thalo. We also have Goliath's daughter. We have Brox. We have um, uh, <coughs> Demona. We also have uh, Brooks. We have Hunt. And we have... Um, this dude right here I can't get his name right now and now we also have this dude and I don't think I'm gonna get this on a toast but I do gotta get this girl right here I can't even think of her name but do gotta get her and I'm still looking for Lexington so once I get do get Lexington I will be doing a full review of the Gargoyles themselves which is one two uh three four and five with Bronx as well and then we'll do Goliath daughter and Demona as well and Thalon is the same as Goliath, so I probably might do those two together as well. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and open up these figures right here. See what they're all about. We got Xanatos right here. And then we also got his armor uh, version right here with his uh, helmet on right there. So let's go ahead and take these figures out the box. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. So here they are right here. We do have... Goliath, I'm just trying to straighten up the camera real quick, but we do have, I say Goliath, but we have um, Xanatos and the Steel Clan uh, machines as well. There's both of them on the side, the silver ones, and then we also have Xanatos and the red and black with a silver touch on the edge of the hands. And it just looks really, really awesome. Uh, I do have to say these are some very nice looking figures that you can army build which is dope and you and the reason why i got two of them uh is because i want to add these in with different figures as well so it's just freaking awesome but let's go ahead and go over Zonatos first and then we'll go over the steel clan basically all three of them are the same uh there is some little difference and it's like one uh main difference and we'll sh uh, show you that right now you can probably already see it and then after that, we'll break it down, do all the other stuff that we usually do on this review. So anyways, here he is right here. He does look really, really nice. Um, I like the sparkle and the red. It looks really nice as well. And man, it would have been so much better if this thing was die cast. Uh, I think this would have been dope if this figure was die cast. At least 
the red armor part was die cast. I think that would have been freaking awesome right there. It had die cast right here. But unfortunately, we didn't get that. But still, this looks really, really nice. Overall, the presence of this figure is just screamed dopeness right here. And then we also got this uh, thing right here. This is one of the effects. I left it on this figure. Just put it in there. Then I just decided to leave it on there. But I'm going to take this off. And we'll put it on the wings when we actually go into the figure and accessories. But... That looks really awesome right there. We got a full bag, no scuffs, no marks, no messed up paint on this thing. Uh, the tail looks really nice as well. I didn't put the tail on here. So that way you could be able to stand because these things are huge. They are big figures, at least eight inches or more tall. So this is just really, really dope here. And then you get in the close up of the face and we get that metallic metal light uh, face right there. Let's see if we can get that without hitting the camera. There we go, hitting the camera. But anyways, there it is right there. So it still looks really nice, and everything's supposed to be metal. So I, I see why they put the sparkle in there on the head part right here. So that's just freaking awesome. But overall, this thing looks dope with the red right here. So with that being said, the only difference that we have with this one and the silver ones is for the fact that. We do get this piece. One thing is the bang bang thing is obvious. The red and the black is a different color from the uh, Steel Clan, but still looks really nice. And then we get this hose right here on Zonatos, which is really nice as well. So that's dope right there. But let's go ahead and then bring in our other figure right here, the silver one. I'm gonna choose this one because this one can stand better. And I'm gonna try and lift up this camera a little bit more to get a better view of it. And here he is, the silver one right here, which looks really dope as well. And hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know which one you love better. Do you love the silver one better, or do you love the red, the uh, Zonatos better, or do you love the Steel Clan one the best? And all these look like Goliath because Zonatos is so obsessed with Goliath and the other Gargoyles as well. But this just looks really nice right here. And same thing with him. They all have the same design. As far as everything else, they just don't have the hoses, but overall, still really nice. And I love the silver and gray. These look very beautiful as well, but the red one just stands out better to me. But man, taking these things out the box and then putting them next to each other just looks really nice, especially when you have figures like standing next to these things just looks dope. And I haven't taken no photos, unfortunately, for this review, but I will see before I actually post a review. Maybe I will, maybe I don't. We'll see at the end uh, if I was able to do that. But overall, just now, these things look really awesome. And let's go ahead and go over the articulation now. Now that we got a good look at all these figures right here, they look dope. Uh, no paint marks, no nothing. So first thing I'm going to do is show off these wings right here for the accessories. Let's go over that and then we go over the articulation for Zonatos. So, real quick, we do have these big old huge uh, wings that they come with for all the figures. These big things right here. And uh, they do look nice. I ain't gonna lie. They have some stuff on there, but you just wipe it away easily. But man, these things are huge. Look at this. And this is just why I didn't put it, put it on the figure because they are so wide, so big. But I will do it right now. So let's go ahead and move these two out the way and then we'll come back and do the steel clan next uh when i'm done with him but let's go ahead and put these in right now and just let's see how this thing looks with having both of these in here and i don't know which one goes on which let's just do it this way and then go from there let's put these in right here so there that is right th oops let's see okay oh so they you do go up like that and you can actually use the wings if you want to to stay i don't really like it with the wings on so far let's do the other one just to get an overall view on how this thing will look with the wings on i'm definitely gonna pull them off because they're way too big to be on the figure if you're gonna have this thing with other stuff like a ratchet or a joint but there he is right there this thing is huge like the wings makes this figure stand really big let's move it up some more 
But there it is right there with the wings. Let's have the wings kind of back right there. But there he is, you guys. There is Xanatos with the wings. And on the camera, he looks dope with the camera. But still, it's just he's huge. And you could actually have this dude without the wings as well, which is pretty dope. But there he is with the wings. He does look like Xanatos now from God Warriors. That was like the finish, finish, finishing touch right there. So that's dope right there. And then let's go ahead and go over the articulation. So the head moves this way. We get a nice ball joint right here. Just know the hair, uh, because the hair is long, it does stop him from doing a, a turn like he could earlier because of the wings. But if you want to fix that, you can just turn right here and then boom, he gets the full range right here and then also here. And these things are just in the way. But anyways, you just fold these back and then you can get your whole uh, look of Goliath, I mean, of Xanatos here. And then here, he can do a T-pose, but neck and joints are kind of tight. So I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want to break this dude because I didn't see no more of Xanatos at Target. But there you go there. And then we do have a swivel here, a bicep swivel, which is good right here. We don't have butterfly joints, but we do have the joint right here. And then we have swivel here, this thing raised up, but you have a swivel here. And then you also have almost a ratchet right here. And it's not double jointed, it's just one joint right there, as you can see right there. So that's dope. Look at this, they even have these things right here, these vents right here. I thought that was really dope. But anyways, with the, um, let's go at the top, stains, wings are just ridiculous. But anyways, you can move this dude all the way around like that. He has good waist swivel. And then right here, he also has great articulation for the swivel at the torso as well. So I thought that was really dope. And you could get him to look down like that. And then you could get him to look up as well like that. That's dope right there. And then we also have uh, double jointed knees, but because of how the how these things are, they are huge and his legs are big as well. A little bit different. And then right here, we do have a uh, swivel here at the toes as well, where he kind of do his thing. And then here, which I kind of like right here, they give you the option to go down like this where his feet is actually down and then you can actually go up like this and have his feet stand like the regular gargoyles do you just push it down like that and boom you do have a nice stance right here so this thing is okay for articulation oh we also get a swivel here i forgot we do get a swivel here at the thigh so this is really great for this figure right here actually this is a a really decent dope figure from NECA. I think they blew out the water with this dude. This is dope. I really do love it actually. Um, I just hate the wings that they had to be so big and there's nothing you can do about it. It's like that one Batman that my father made. But overall, still a nice piece right here. Especially putting this thing on the shelf with the color that he has. That's just freaking awesome. And I actually like this better than almost all the gargoyles besides Hunt's. Uh, Huntson and um, and Goliath, but he is a dope figure, and Demona is dope too. But uh, yeah, it's just a dope figure overall. So there's wings with him. Let's go on do the wings real quick with the one of the silver ones. Let me see which one I want to do. I'm gonna do this one right here. So how does the silver one looks with the wings? And then we go over the accessories real quick. Uh, let's go and put the wings on him. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here he is right here with the wings for the silver one. I also added one of his uh, things right here. We do have that right there, one of his accessories with a closed fist on him. And that is freaking awesome. He just looks really dope right there. Look at that, just scream awesomeness. So I might take some photos because it, this figure just looks so dope, especially in silver. I actually like the silver more than red now. See, with the wings, he does look a lot better here. I need to swap up the wings 
and do the same thing with Zana tools. But real quick, let's go ahead and go over the accessories real quick with both of them. And I'm gonna do the silver one since I already have them up here, the steel clan. But anyways, I forgot to tell you guys, we do have swivel here as well. And almost uh, a double jointed ratchet right here in the elbows. And you can go like that. So he gets good range as far as the arm articulation as well. But here to turn it this way, you can't swivel. So it has great articulation. This thing has really great articulation for neck of figures. Really great articulation. So with that being said, let's go and go over the accessories. So off the bat, we already have one of the guns here. And then right here, all you have to do is just, it comes with two of these. You can put the other one right here, but you just take it off right here. And then add on this nice accessory that we get right here. Boom which is dope right there we do get that and then we also get these fire things one of them goes in the back as you already see and then these go on the feet right here so if you want to have the flick of uh, the figure flying you can usually just put these on the foot and then we get the stain right here that you put in the back right here which is awesome as well just put that here and then right here you could put the boosters on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it right now and I had this dude stand on the rockers, but you can just go like that. So that's awesome right there. Great effects and great accessories so far for the uh, Steel Clan and Zonatos. Zonatos get the same thing. We'll go over heads in a second. And I'm trying to do all three of these figures at once. But anyways, we get both of these claws right here. He's have one right here. Then we also get this open hand right here. And these things are huge right here, but fully detailed no paint uh, mess ups here and then we also get these two holding fists now they might come up with something in the future because why would they have these uh with holes in them where he could hold stuff or hold sticks or whatever they supposed to hold but there's those are the two that we get right there and then we also get these straight down hands right here relaxed hands i would call or grab hands if you want to call them that so that is dope and then also we get the wing and the tail as well so that is freaking awesome for the silver one. And now we're going to go ahead and bring in uh, Zonatos as well and do his, uh, do his as well. All right, you guys. So there is Zonatos right here with his looking really dope as well. And which one do you like better is the question for this video. Which one is better, the red or we get the Steel Clan or Zonatos. So real quick with Zonatos, same thing with him. We do get some relaxed hands right here or hands where you can choke his neck or whatever you want to do, we do get these. And these are more black and gray compared to the the uh, silver right here. So that's dope right there. And then we also get um, also another open hand right here. This one's going to be the uh, right hand right here. There's his left over there. And then we also get two closed fists right here. We got this one for the right, closed fist for the uh, right, closed fist for the left. And then we also get these holding hands right and left for Zonatos. Right there, we get these blast effects, which you've already seen already. And we also get these two blast effects for the feet as well. Would have been dope. I think they missed out on an opportunity to have a blast effect coming from the gun. That would have been dope right there as an extra add-on. Uh, accessory and then we also get these things right here that goes right here on the blast effect you just take this off right here and then boom put in the uh, gun effect right there and then this is another good thing about Zonatos and that is his head scope right here that we got I thought that was really really nice right there boom and then we also get this thing as if he's taking off his helmet and he still have his uh, you know where it's just showing his face and he's gonna look like this so let's go ahead and do that now and we'll be right back. All right, guys, there's Zonatos. And he looked just like Zonatos from the cartoon. Like he just walked right out off the TV screen. He looks really dope right here. And this looks just like him. And it just looks nice. And it looks like he's really in a suit right here. Maybe his hands might go right here or right here. I don't know how you get that when his body's so small, but who knows. But, anyways. It's a cartoon, but anyways, this just looks really nice. Overall, it looks really dope, really nice. We got Zonatos here, and he looks freaking awesome. So, we got three minutes left, so why not go ahead and do some size comparisons real quick. I said I'm not going to make my videos over 
30 over 20 minutes long. I don't care how many figures I have. But first of all, let's go ahead and go with uh, Wonder Woman because I'm actually in the middle of taking photos with her. But there she is, six inch standing next to uh, Xanatos right here and the Steel Clan. And that's dope because you could use uh, these clan leaders. I mean, you could use Xanatos for uh, six inch and seven inch, which is dope. And then we get a Marvel Legend here. Which is uh, the new Black Widow, which is one of my favorite Marvel Legend figures now. And then there they are right there, standing next to them. And then we get a Mezco 112 standing next to them as well. This is uh, um, John Constantine. There he is right there. So it still looks really good. You can't tell the difference between 6 inch and 7 inch. And I don't have no 7 inch up here right now. Which sucks, but anyways, that's how they look right there with the six inch line. So that's not bad at all for six inch. And let me just go ahead and grab a seven inch so no one won't complain. All right, you guys. So, last but not least, we do have Batman right here from McFarland DC Multiverse, seven inch. There he is standing next to Zonatos, and he goes good as well with seven inch as well. So, with that being said, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if there's some photos in the end, go ahead and stay to that. I will let you know. Uh, but other than that, this is dope right here, you guys. So hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you all in the next video. And like I said, the question of the day, which one is better? Uh, Zonatos or the Steel Clan? Hit me up in the comment section. I'll see you all later. Have a great night.